All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever-glorious book, Allah invites everyone to the home of peace and guides whoever he wills to a straight path. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Peace is a noble human value that our religion has paid much attention to. Our religion is a religion of peace. Our prophet, peace be upon him, is a prophet of peace. And our greetings is a phrase of peace. In Islam, paradise is called the other way of peace. The greeting of the people of paradise is peace. And the angels' greetings for believers in paradise is peace. The Almighty Allah said, You who believe, enter wholeheartedly into peace and do not follow in Satan's footsteps, for he is your sworn enemy. And also said, they shall have the home of peace with their Lord. And Allah also said, their greetings in it are peace. And said, the angels will go in to them from every gate, saying, peace be with you, because you have remained steadfast. What an excellent reward is this home of yours. It is for this noble value that Allah called him himself the grantor of peace. The Almighty Allah said, He is Allah. There is no God other than Him, the controller, the Holy One, the grantor of peace, the grantor of security, guardian over all, the Almighty, the compiler, the truly great, Allah is far above anything they consider to be his partner. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to praise Allah, saying, O Allah, you are peace, and from you comes peace. Blessed are you, O owner of majesty and honor. Peace in Islam is a comprehensive value. A true Muslim is tolerant with himself. He lives in true peace with his family, relatives, neighbors, friends, and with all people. The Prophet peace be upon him said, A true Muslim is the one from whose tongue and hands the other Muslims are secure. The Prophet peace be upon him also said, By Allah he is not a believer. By Allah he is not a believer. By Allah he is not a believer. He was asked, Who is that, O Messenger of Allah? He said, One whose neighbor does not feel safe from his evil. Once the Prophet, peace be upon him, was asked about a woman who used to observe fasting and night prayers, but injures her neighbors with her tongue. The Messenger of Allah said, There is no good in her. She is one of the people of the fire. However, we confirm that peace can only be achieved through pure souls that follow the noble human and religious controls the most important of which are man does not show that which he doesn't believe in. The Prophet peace be upon him said, one of the most evil of people is the two-faced person who shows one face to these people and another face to those people. Another rule is that a person loves goodness for all people, be merciful, friendly, tolerant and gentle. The Prophet peace be upon him said, no one of you becomes a true believer until he likes for his brother what he likes for himself. The Prophet also said, Some people open the door to good and close the door to evil. And some people open the door to evil and close the door to good. Glad tidings to those in whose hands Allah places the keys to good. And woe to those in whose hands Allah places the keys to evil. Another rule is that a person believes in others' right to have a decent and secure and stable life. The Almighty Allah has created people different from one another, as he said, Had your Lord willed, all people on earth would have believed. So can you, O Prophet, compel people to believe? One must believe that there are common human grounds that are agreed upon by all divine laws that lead to tranquility, stability, and psychological and societal peace among all. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Prophet Muhammad and his companions and followers. 
A Muslim lives in peace with the whole world. He does not harm animals, burn plants, or damage trees or fruits. He is conservative. He loves goodness and hates evil. He loves construction and hates destruction. The Almighty Allah says, We sent you only as mercy to the world. The Prophet, peace be upon him, once entered the garden of a man from Al Ansar. All of a sudden, when a camel saw the Prophet, it wept tenderly, producing yearning sound, and its eyes flowed. The Prophet, peace be upon him, came to it and wiped the temple of its head. So it kept silent. He then, he then said, Who is the master of this camel? Whose camel is this? A young man from the Ansar came and said, This is mine, O Messenger of Allah. The Prophet said, Don't you fear Allah about this beast, which Allah has given in your possession? It has complained to me that you keep it hungry and load it heavily, which fatigates it. How beautiful that one lives in peace with himself, with his family, relatives, neighbors, colleagues, friends, society, and with the whole universe. O oh Allah, make us among the people of peace, and by your mercy let us enter paradise, the adobe of peace.